night, good afternoon. How are you? So it's um, kind of the tail end of my son's nap. I think he has moved from two naps, one in the morning and one in the evening, uh, to one, long one, during the day. So um, I'm making baby food pouches for um, him and then also a uh, girlfriend's baby. So that's why there's such a large amount here. And so what I did was um, I juiced stuff and with the pulp of the juice between yesterday's and today's, I mixed or I steamed uh, or simmered with a little bit of water, the vegetables, and then I used some of the juice. Some of the, let me just start over. Yesterday I juiced and I juiced orange juice and I juiced carrot juice. And so what I did with that juice, oops, timer, hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> I forgot I'm also baking. So, okay, so yesterday I juiced uh, orange, orange juice and I juiced carrot juice. And so with the pulp of those two, the remainder pulp of those two juices, I put them in uh, a little, with a little bit of water and I simmered it to make it more soft uh, so that I could puree it. And then today uh, I used some of the leftover juice from yesterday and then some juice from today. So today was uh, a green juice and the green juice had romaine lettuce, it had uh, Swiss chard, it had um, beet leaves, it had um, green apple, bell pepper, watercress, and uh, and then I also juiced uh, beets. So I used the beet juice. So beet juice, orange juice, and then all of those vegetables, the pulp from those vegetables, instead of throwing it away, um, I used some of the uh, pulp from yesterday, the carrot and apple, I'm sorry, carrot and orange juice. I um, pureed it with some apple and pear sauce. And so I'm baking those to make them kind of like little fruit bites. And then, um, I pureed all of that together. So this is a puree of beets, a ton of greens, some apples, carrot, and oranges. And then I mix because beets are very dirt tasting in my opinion. Uh, so even with the orange juice, it kind of still stood like you could tell, taste the beets. So I dropped apple cider vinegar in it. Uh, and it doesn't leave the, the apple cider vinegar doesn't leave the consistency of the juice or the pulp, it doesn't leave it, um, like it doesn't taste like sour or very acidic. Um, it just helps to um, tone the beet taste down. So it's a very, very bright um, pink or purple. And I wanted to show you the two difference differences of pouches. Um, I bought from like a resale group, this Infantino pouch maker here. And I absolutely, it was, so worth the resale purchase. I think I paid 10 bucks and it also came with the pouches and the lids and all of that stuff. And then for my girlfriend, um, I thought I could snap these on here. I guess I didn't do enough research, but these ones, they open from the bottom here. So you gotta, you have to take the time to open them from the bottom. They are reusable. Uh, whereas these ones aren't reusable, but you can buy reusable ones to snap in the Infantino maker because if I try to snap this in it, it doesn't um, it doesn't snap here the way that they make this little piece here so I can't snap it so I have to actually manual manually fill these and I also have to make sure that I put the lids on here first because if I don't when I was filling it it will come right out on this side and I learned that from experience before I went live so I had to make sure I put all these lids on here first. And then, so I put all these lids here. So I'm gonna fill these first, and then I'm gonna do the other one just so you can see the difference and you figure out if this is something that you would like to try. This is for my, my, my one-year-old. Uh, his palette, I trained him a lot differently than I did with my other two boys, and he just enjoys everything. So. Um, and I always kind of enter into having him or them try new things with, if you know, if they don't like it, then I'll eat it. <laughs> so.
So everybody can benefit from this. So you have to make sure it's wide open and I kind of have to drop it in here. And I will just say that Which side? it is just um, either side, honey. It's just not my favorite thing here. So you gotta make sure it's like, you know, nice and uh, full, like wide mouth here. And then I'm just dropping it in here. And it does come out of, I might have just put too much. So I'm making sure I tap it down here. You can have one. Okay, and then you have to seal it. And if you filled it too much, don't worry. It will overflow and come out like this. Okay, so you can see why it is not my favorite. Okay. So I'm just going to rinse them off here. That way, when you go to use the beet, you can't, or the pouch, it doesn't go all over the place. I think you can see everything I'm doing. So here's the pouch all done up. And you can label them, but um, I don't because then that's one more thing you have to wash. If you're going to reuse them, which I highly encourage. So let me show you, because I'm not going to do to all of these and waste all of your time. Let me show you this handy dandy thing. I promise I'm not making any money off of me sharing this with you. I just love, love, love to save time, cost, and I love convenience. And I know for most, you would say like, okay, making your own baby food, that's not convenient. Um, it's actually not a lot of work at all. So that's why I want to share. And then, as I mentioned, I would be throwing all this stuff away if I didn't have anything to do with it. I'd be throwing it away. So it has little lines here. Isn't that cool? That, you, that it will tell you when to stop. That's the other cool thing about this, is it tells you when to stop. Isn't that cool? Let's mm -hmm. see. Wait, I have my friend's daughter here, and she is just amazed. What is it, honey? You put so you get that. You put it there. in here. Mm -hmm. It has like a button. To yeah, it. I'm gonna show you. Just watch. There's magic. Uh, a little bit more. Do you like press it down or something? All right. So I filled them ish. Okay. These ones are a little thicker, the consistency. Oh, you could probably even add some more water to, or I'm sorry, not water, um, apple cider vinegar. Um, Grace here, look, say hi. Hi. She yeah, sampled. I tried it. Okay, tell them what you think of the. I tried it, um, kind of bitter. But then she put some of this, and it kind of tastes. You gotta show them your face. There, because they can't hear it. So, okay, you tried it at first without the apple cider vinegar. Kind of tastes like bitter and almost like onions. Onions? I don't know. Dirt? It just kind of tasted like onions. You really? Okay. Yeah, I don't and know. And then what did it taste like after I put apple cider vinegar? It tasted a little more, not as bitter, a little more sweetish, but um, uh, like then it tasted more like apple y. Apple a little bit, a little bit. A little easier for the palate. Oh, yes. What, what did you say at the end? Who would like it? Jude. Jude would like, like it. Okay, Jude can eat this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he pretty much yeah. eats anything. That's so cool. All right, so you have this little thing it comes with, okay. and I think. Oh, let me do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm looking at it. I want so that. I know, isn't that cool? Okay, so you Dunk. just. He didn't. It's like, like surprise. Whoa! That's cool. Yep, isn't that cool? There must, I think there's a little bit of a food chunk in this one because oh, it's not wow. going down anymore. So let me just try this one here. <laughs> Whoa. That's so cool. It just like slides right down. Yep. So once it's filled, you just undo the pouch here. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Sorry about that. We just had a minor setback here. Don't you worry about us. I had it kind of propped up here and Grace didn't realize it. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> All right, so the neat thing about this here is that it, it locks and then it unlocks and then you just put the little lid on here. So, so you choose. Cool. 
This is a different size, but you can get different sizes here. So easy. Um, okay, so then you put your next one on here. Let me just show you how it goes here. You just snap, there's a little snap, and then you tighten that, and then you release, and then you do it again. Whoa. Voila. And you just put a bunch of scoops in there? Yep, you just put some scoops in there. Unlock. And then you store Whoops, them in I'm your sorry. fridge. Yep. You can freeze. You can freeze or you could uh, refrigerate these. I'm not going to stay by the Yeah. Way. Don't knock over the sorry phone again. That. You shook me up. So I'll show you one more time this. Just so you can make your decision. I like that one better. I know, huh? It's easier. It is super easy. So you have to drop this in here. Without spilling. Hard. That's really hard. And you got you have to remember to put the lid on there, otherwise really well. it will come right out of the other side. And it'll get all over the baby. Alright, I'm gonna just do one small one here. Are those the I ones don't that encourage. Other girl? Yeah, that this is baby. for baby. For baby. Okay. So oh, even is it like then, a Ziploc at the bottom? Yeah, it's like a little pouch. That's cool. And this gets a little at the now, if you wanted for the beets to taste a little better, you could add a little bit more orange juice, or you could have, add a little bit more apple cider vinegar, but I did find that my Jude doesn't like um, oranges, so I didn't want to make it too citrusy, acidic for him. He didn't? He doesn't? He doesn't like oranges. I didn't know that. No. So yeah, so this is all sealed. So that was, those are the two differences, and I just wanted to show that to this you. Bigger. Yeah, Why those ones are five it's ashes. Yes, ma'am. Well, I just cooked them. I just cooked the food, remember? You cooked So it? this is, yeah, I remember I did on the stove. That's what I've been doing all morning. Oh. <laughs> so like this that. is four ounces and this is five. Um, my little guy will eat, like, throw down two of these, so, in one sitting. And you can imagine what poops are going to look like. All right, I am all good, and I will take pictures, and I will share this recipe if you're interested. Um, but, of course, this isn't the only one. You can just do apples or vegetables, or I'm sorry, you could do fruit or vegetables. These are great for your older kids, too. You could just do, like, an apple pear puree. Oh, like um, a Like apple. the go -go Yeah, like, but healthier. Go -go. Yeah. Healthy. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, oh, maybe I could see comments. Oh, thanks. Let's see here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to hop off. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Sophia. Okay, so... Uh, yes, it's super cool and very convenient, and these pouches average between, if you get them on sale, uh, for like an organic and minimal ingredient or minimal preservative, uh, they'd be like between, you know, $1.25 if they're on sale, all the way up to 2 or $3. I've seen them as high as $3. The apple cider vinegar also does help to preserve it so it will last longer, and that's a little bit more natural. Where'd you get those? So, um... I'll explain to you in just a moment. Okay. Oh, these ones. Here, I'll answer. This one I got on Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. Amazon is like your new best friend. Um, they're like 50 pouches for $20. And then this is the Infantino. Pouch? 50 pouches, yeah. <laughs> Infantino. And I got it on a resale store for, or resale page for like 10 bucks, But I think it's like 30 Don't hold me to it. But I'll share the link of the, uh, the, the actual pouch system that I use and like you said or like I shared already I'm really partial to this one so all right I'm gonna hop off thank you you want to say bye bye and sorry for flipping you over bye. <laughs> bye. I'm <out> of here. <laughs>